Welcome to this puzzle session. Here is the problem. Three grasshoppers stand along a line, as shown. At each turn, one grasshopper leaps over another, but not over two others. Okay? So, for instance, suppose this grasshopper is going to do the leaping. Then it has to leap over one other but not over two others. So necessarily, this one has to come here in the next turn. Right? It cannot go there in the next turn. Because then it would be leaping over these two, which is not allowed. Alright? So similarly, if this was doing the leaping, then it would either come there or there in the next turn. And similarly, if this was doing the leaping, then it necessarily comes in the middle. So, the question is, can the grasshoppers return to their initial positions after 1991 steps? In other words, suppose these grasshoppers have names A, B, C. So, after the first turn, we don't know which grasshopper will do the leaping. One of these three will do in every, in every step. So in the first step this might and then in the next configuration, you know, in the next instant we will see this configuration because C will come in between A and B. And suppose now this one again, you know, this time the middle one does the leaping, then we might see either C A B or A B C. So let's say maybe we will see C A B. And this time maybe this guy does the leaping, so then we will see CBA and this will go on. The question is after so many steps, so this is the first step, this is the second step, this is the third step. Can it so happen that after so many steps we come back to this configuration? Alright, so as usual you're encouraged to pause the video and answer the question yourself before we look at the solution that I'm going to discuss. Alright, so let's move on. So what we have done is, we have drawn all the possible six configurations that the grasshoppers can take. And what we will do is diagrammatically represent all the possible leapings. What do I mean by that? So suppose this is the current configuration. At some point of time, this is the configuration, let us say. What is or what are all the possible configurations in the next time instant? That is what we are going to record diagrammatically. So, if this is the current configuration, there are three possibilities. Either this does the leaping, or that, or that. So, if this does the leaping, then the next configuration would be BAC, and hence we will join this, or draw this arrow. This just means that from here you can come here. <clears throat> okay? If B does the leaping, then there are two possibilities. Either we will see BAC or we will see ACB. Because B can come there or there. So, we will either see this one or that one, but that one was already accounted for. What about this guy? If you just play the same game here, you will see that these two arrows will be drawn. And if you do the same thing for this guy, you will see that these two arrows will be drawn. So that's a simple check. So what this tells us is that if the current configuration is one of these three, then the next configuration is one of these three. And a similar computation will show that if the current configuration is one of these three, then the next configuration is necessarily one of these three. So, let's say this was our starting configuration. Then, in particular, our starting configuration is one of these three. And hence, at the first leaping, we will see one of these three configurations. In the second leaping, we will then see one of these three configurations. And then in the third leaping, we will see one of these three configurations. 
So what is going on is at all the odd times we will look at or we will witness one of these three configurations and at even times we will witness one of these three configurations. This means that after an odd number of steps one cannot return or the grasshoppers cannot return to the configuration from which they started. Okay. And since 1991 is an odd number, we see that after so many steps, there is no way they can return to their original configuration. And that's it. That proves that the answer is no. And I hope you followed this. This was a simple argument by parity. There are other, uh, there are other ways to argue this, but I think at the heart of the matter, the same reasoning will go. And with that, I want to end this lecture. As usual, like, comment, share, subscribe. And I will see you next time.